Well, everybody knows a procrastinator, and if you, you know, needed another Halloween costume for that party gathering or an event, there's still a little bit of time. A little bit a out there. A little bit of time. You don't want to be the only one without a fun costume, right? Well, lucky for us, our lifestyle expert, Jen Munoz, has plenty of last-minute ideas. She is here with us this Halloween Eve Eve <laughs> <laughs> to help us get ready. Jen, good morning. Happy almost Halloween. Good morning. I forget her name, but I know Shaggy over there. Oh, Daphne. Oh, nice Zoe. Zoe. Daphne. Man, that's the that's mystery it. machine in the background. It's four hours. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> You're ready for our, our crew. Okay, so uh, for anyone who has missed the boat on the online costumes, the stores sold out, what do we do to pull something together kind of fast? So, you know, there's a whole host of things you can do, and a lot of this stuff is right inside your closet or closets in your house. So the first is, you know, whether you have a dress-up bin or a costume closet, or you've recently hosted a party where you had, like, photo booth props, you can pull those out and put a costume together. So all those hats, glasses, gloves, jewelry, um, you can do the classic ghost with your sheet, you know, that used to be an old go-to for mm -hmm. everything old is new again. Um, you can also use a sheet for your dogs or to make a mummy. Um, so those are some great ones for littles and bigs. Um, you can also pull out like a white coat and become a chef or a doctor. Um, and then if you still have like a boa laying around, you can do a princess. Um, and this is like one of those where, you know, don't be afraid, dad, let your daughter do your makeup and you can become a princess too, oh, I love that's that. great. right? <laughs> or a ballerina, like we know dad doesn't always get his tutu on, but maybe he can for this, mm -hmm. um, you know, and then if you want to do like a family costume, like you can do superheroes, that's super easy, throw on red shirts, put a little sticker star, some blue shorts and you're good to go. Um, and remember, like face paint can also go a long way too. So when you're doing stuff with masks, um, these are prisoners who just escaped. They're all ready to go trick or treating. I was just thinking, um, I have like three striped shirts. You, you add the, the little yeah. mask and a hat, and there you go. Yeah, you could also be Waldo if you've got a red and white striped there you one. Go. Oh, um, smart. And then don't forget, like, never underestimate the power of cardboard, right? This little guy <laughs> is a robot. Um, you can become an airplane, you can become a pilot. This works for your cat as well. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. So, <laughs> um, and this is just like a little bit of face paint and pipe cleaners for ears. And then you can just throw on like an all black outfit, super easy and you're good to go. And that works for all, all different ages too. Yeah. So um, you can also use that um, face black to become a football player. Everybody's got like a helmet or a jersey laying around. Um, and then you can also do this with couples costumes, which is fun to kind of do the his and hers thing. I nice. love it. Yeah, a lot of great ideas. Mm -hmm. And all of them are ones that you really could take could just real quick. I mean, especially because if you order anything, you're not going to get it in time at this point. Mm -hmm. So great ideas to do that on, on short notice there. And, you know, I, I have some friends with some pretty big holiday closets that would probably come in handy, too. I think that's one. Maybe see if the neighbors can help you out on something if it's just like one thing you need. Yep, you can always phone a friend, and, you know, get your lifelines out or post on Facebook groups and things like that. Like if you're just missing that one thing, I, I think that's a great idea too to reach out to friends and family. And I know a lot of costume shops are kind of sold out at this point, especially of some of the popular stuff. But um, if you just wanted something kind of Halloween, kind of festive, where, where do you suggest looking right now? You know, so for me, like, I wasn't really in the mood for costumes, so I hit my TJ Maxx and Marshalls, and they've got a lot of great skull merchandise, so mm. I'm feeling the Halloween spooky vibe, oh, but I don't go. have on necessarily a Halloween costume, and they also have things like, this is a handbag that just has, like, a skull print on it, so oh, that's, that's super fun. spooky, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Well, and I like yeah. both of those because they're not like overtly Halloween. You know, you could use them kind of the rest of the fall and just make it not not as spooky season, you mm, know? Right. Oh, it's great. For idea. sure. Yeah, good yep. stuff. Okay, Jen, always great ideas. Thanks for helping us get our Halloween party on here <laughs> for all of us procrastinators. I love how calm he is. Them. It's amazing. Well, he's calm now. He's been bribed with many, many treats this morning. They're called so. Scooby Snacks. Um, yes, that's right. I, I, you know what? Look, I got you. Like, 
Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> we got those, we got oh. those Scooby snacks. Oh, there my you go. gosh. That is so we great. We love it. What yeah, do you see, think, he perked Scoob? up. He heard that. Yeah, someone just came in the studio, so oh, now he's got to go Scooby? check it out. Oh, oh, all right. Oh, it's a mystery. Check it out. <laughs> oh, yeah, go investigate. Okay. All right. All right. Jen, have a great Halloween. Thank you for being here this you morning. You too. Thanks, Thanks so Kat, much. You great. Happy Halloween. And oh. of course, if you want to look back at Jen's tips, we're going to share it on our social. So check us out. We're on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff. Yeah.